Hi class, it's Jolene. We're going to take a look at how to choose the appropriate size image on uh, in Google. So I've got Google up here and I'm going to go to Google Images and then I'll put in a search term, say landscape. And you can see all these different images come up that um, are all the images Google has that are landscapes. Notice if you hover above them, it'll tell you how many pixels per inch are in that image. So this one's 26 by 1300. This one's smaller, which means it has fewer pixels in it, which means it's lower resolution. We're going to be looking for fairly high resolution images for the assignment for our uh, Photoshop fix assignments that we're going to be working on in this module. So how, how can we sort these to make sure that we're only getting the high resolution images? So if, for instance, see how uh, small this one is or low resolution. So we're going to rule that one out. So we're going to go back up to the top and click on Tools. That brings up a new uh, menu, and here's one called Size. I recommend that you go down to Larger Than and then click on 2 megapixels, which equates to about 1,600 by 1,200 pixels. Now all these images that were being shown are at least that big. So here's a really large one. And for some of what you're going to be doing, you're going to want pretty large ones to make sure you have plenty of pixels to work with. Fewer the pixels, the harder your job's going to be. So for instance, maybe choose this one. So you're going to make sure you want to click on it and then save this one. This one up here is just a thumbnail and it's not going to come out with this high resolution. What the thing that you download. So if you click here, uh, right click or control click on it and then click on save image as and then save that into, give it a name, something like landscape and you'll be saving it as a JPEG and then click on save. I recommend that you create a folder for all the images that you're going to be collecting, that you're going to be uh, collecting for this assignment. You'll need a total of four images.